Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my Let's Play on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This is episode 161. In the previous episode, we did a hero quest or a Sensen quest for the Flash Fencer and the Seraph class, which happened to be one of the easiest extension quests I've ever done and is the only one that has a two for one whammy. So we got the Flash Fencer and the Seraph class to extend within just like one dialogue. It was pretty simple. Now we made a few changes to our party. We are trying to go with just a single tank here. I was definitely advised to go with a a Guardian Commander and I tried it out. Yeah, it works pretty well. It's just I don't I don't like Guardian Commander. I have a newfound respect for them because they're one of the most they provide one of the most broken talent arts, but overall I just prefer agility builds. So I would honestly want to play Lone Exile. But that means we have to get Guardian Commander to extend so we can take his talent art and move it over to the Lone Exile. But right now we are playing as a Zephyr and we are going to try to, you know, even with Zephyr, the talent art on Guardian Commander would be pretty broken. But right now we're just going to play as Zephyr and we are going to still rock the Glow Ring strat. And instead of this, we are going to equip everyone with the capable hands and try to just recharge as soon as possible. Maybe try to get to the point where we can get the... Well, we can get Awakened on every class, but what we can do is get Noah's ability to unlock Ultimate Sword with capable hands. And using this strat, we can at least kill all the monsters. I believe it's any trash or unique monsters with one hit, potentially. But not... I don't know if it applies for... Um, no, no, it's elite monsters. I don't know if it applies for unique monsters or not. So let's try this out just really quickly here. We are all about, what, eight levels behind him. We have aggro with a single tank. Everything's going just fine. Let's see, she hasn't used glow target l yet. She lost aggro. Is she going to use glow target? I don't know if she did or not, but she has aggro, so that's good. We're looking to see if Noah has unlocked his uh, his unlimited sword. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, if anything, we can always just play as Noah and rock it. You know, just try to kill everyone with ultimate sword. I believe if he spams Tachyon Slash, it has a chance to one-hit KO the a a mob monster so let's see if I don't want to try that with Buffito because I know our accuracy is relatively low so let's see if we play as Noah maybe we can just make this go faster okay so we're gonna go straight into ultimate sword and we have a fat one minute timer which is pretty broken actually it's longer than a minute that's pretty pretty nice so we're gonna switch between dimension ripper and tachyon slash and just continue going on until we can get the one hit KO. I think it's Dimension Ripper that does the K um, KO to Wounded. I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, we kill them pretty quickly. Like, look how fast these people are dying. This is like a cheat cheat. But anyways, I digress. In this video, we are going to try to do an extension quest for another character. I was told that the martial artist extension quest for Gondor was pretty good so we're gonna go try that out and I believe we have it so if we take a look here we should I don't think we have it uh, we do have it it's in one of the rest areas so let's go to the city and see if we can unlock it by going to a rest area and having that conversation Hopefully if everything goes well, we'll be able to do the extension quest. Relatively, all the past extension quests I've done has been an hour long. But besides the last one, which took literally 15 minutes, I was so lost on what to do. We could do that some food. I don't think I really accomplished anything in that episode. I think it was the previous episode. But in this episode, we are hopefully going to 
do Gondor's ascension quest, so it should be over here. Is it not? Yeah, here we go. Gondor's grumbling. I think we need to discuss this. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Sorry, something wrong. Eh, I guess. I could tell you a lot. There's been negotiations about who from the lost number should be left stationed at the castle. Negotiations with the city? Yep, so they said. Should be one who can stay on good terms with Agnes. If there was anyone like that, we would be we wouldn't be in this whole dang mess in the first place. Yep, sounds really worked up. And here's the kicker. We got to keep up to we got to keep it to a one unit. Can you believe it? What? I don't know why she calls her mom that. I don't I never understand that. From what I understood, like she doesn't like the fact that her na her mom named her Gondor, so maybe that's just like in spite of being named Gondor. Because Monica's a good name, but maybe she just doesn't like Gondor. Well, let's just slow down for a moment. Hey, I know. Why don't you help us out? You got nothing better to do, right? I wouldn't. I would like you to rethink what you just said. <laughs> yeah, rethink that, Monica. Not Monica, but Gondor. <laughs> I'm still sick, guys. I'm still recovering. I don't know why it's been so long. It's been like a couple weeks. I still have this cold. It's, it's not going away. Monica, what's up? Hey, sorry to bother you. Something's come up, and we need your help rather urgently. We wanted to retrieve the contents of the material storage warehouse. We wanted to retrieve the contents of the materials storage warehouse. There's been a difficulty. Huh? Material storage warehouse? The one that the conserva conservatives held? Well, deduced. The very same. According to Garrett, he has not, he has not had the time to fetch it, ever since the city shifted locations. But I can't bear just leaving it all there. There's a lot of good stuff there, after all. I wanted to send an armory down that way, but there's a bunch of monsters around. I was hoping you could take out some of the ones in the area. Understood. Thanks in advance. She sure is good at ditching out orders. Come on then, let's get it over with. You coming with us, Gondor? We'll be fine by ourselves. I need something to take my anger out on. You're gonna have to put up with me. Just keep track of what you're punching, eh? Side- what? Why is Senna- what? <laughs> Though I don't need Gondor. <laughs> Is this a um Okay, time to go, guys. This is weird. Okay, let me take a look at the quest. No, it's um wait, side story Senna? Why do I need Gondor then? You received a monster's calling request. For Monica to secure the materials warehouse. It's definitely Gondor's hero quest. I don't understand. And I need Gondor in my party. So. Too bad we don't need. I actually want to have Miyabi, but it says I need Gondor. Okay. Did I main the quest? No. I have to equip it. Quest. Here we go. And I'll activate. Okay. It says Sword Guard Rogals. I have to defeat the specified foes. They are in the Sword March, so we can just head over there. There we go. It's over here. That's fine. This quest should go faster because of Noah's talent art. So hopefully we'll, we'll just one-shot everything. I don't know if story mobs register as the same thing or not, but we will see. All right, let's go. Tachyon slash. Let's get it. Okay. It still does a lot of damage, so I'll, I'll take it at least. Oh, look at that damage, folks. Insane. Oh, 
I have an AoE. I'll take it. That's a bit of a wind-up, though. AoE, front attack, let's see. Seems a bit slapdash if you ask me. But it'll do. Enough to keep it secure at least. Noah, you can tell the city. Will do. I did it! I'm a candidate! What rank? Huh? Rank? What place were you? They must have said. I... I ranked 8th place. A reserve then. But... In the third test, there were a hundred people. Only six of us can become Ouroboros. If you aren't one of those six, you may as well be dead last. We are one of the six houses. The Reed family honor is at stake. And Vandom? Huh? The Vandom girl, Gondor. Gondor was... first place. <sighs> those bloody upstarts at it again. How could we lose to those nobodies? Every generation up until your father, bless his soul, made the main team. <sighs> if only dear Titania were still alive. <gasps> Some legacy this is. Congrats, Lamb. As of today, you're officially a fully-fledged Mobius, comrade. I became... Mobius. You can play to your heart's content. The fun starts here, eh? You get a fresh start. Forget about your old self. So I get to do... whatever I want. You want to be someone, right? Not some kind of phony. The real deal. Don't you have any originality?
You can be. You've just got to destroy the Faker. See? The Faker. Come on now. Be true to yourself. I know who it is. The Faker. That's all right. They're late as hell. Could have got here in half the time. Let's go meet them. Okay. Made a few discoveries, and this is definitely... Gondor's quest. I don't know why Senna. I don't know why this is Senna's side story. Oh, wait, no, I do. Because they compared Senna to that that chick that we just saw. Honestly, I forgot her name. So. Like, I definitely get where why she became. Or how she became the way she is now. Because of her parents' expectations. Like, they. She kept playing second fiddle. And I can I can see that. There's definitely a lot of movies where they portray like brothers and sisters, you know, like they're strong, but one brother is overshadowed by the younger brother or older brother. So they always have to play like second fiddle. Or something like that. Like some some premise like that. And I definitely get it. Like they don't want to be in the shadow of their siblings. They wanna have their own, you know, time in the spotlight. I get it. And you, and you saw instances where she copied, you know, Gondor in, in attempts to, you know, be on equal footings, but she was always one step behind. So it's tragic in its own sense, but she's still a jerk for what she did. Am I going the right way? Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I went the wrong way. Okay. Am I supposed to like climb up or something? I don't know. And her mom, the way she was, um, the way her mom was treating her wasn't any better. Like, look at her. She was, she was knitting. How can you knit? And say something like that, you know? Like you're 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 knitting for Christ's sake. You have to go up here. Oh, we have to go up there. That sucks. Like she has no room to to criticize. Like what what are you doing, yeah, old lady? You're stuck in a room knitting, and you have nothing but complaints about your daughter. Terrible. But then again, like, I, I see where the mom's coming from, but for her to take it out on her daughter is not acceptable. It's like a parent who who tried in life but failed. Like, life isn't fair, right? We understand that. Life is hard. So when you come across hardships and tribulations, you have a choice to either, like, stay where you're at or keep on going. Like, persevere through the hardships. Some people, they decide to take their frustration on other people. Like, it's not intentional. It's just an outlet you know or it's all they know it may be due to previous uh, parenting or the nature or even nurture right they see people do it so they assume that's like the only way to vent they they subconsciously do that I don't know people are fickle I wish this cold would go away. We 
You don't need that, ditch it. That's not where your talents lie. I tried ditching it. I would have if I could. Long ago. Contour. And you verified that. What's wrong? Mobius. But how would they know where? What? What's happened? Oh. Gondor. It's Mobius. They attacked the city. <gasps> Mobius did it. For real. The perpetrator was Shania. <gasps> How is that possible? I mean, we saw her die. Well, it happened before with Yorin. Spark it. So she's joined their ranks. Shania. Senna. I knew it. I saw this coming. And still... I couldn't... Senna. You want to see this through, don't you? Oh, Mimi. We've got your back, okay? Come on. Let's go. Hmm. I have to do this. I swear. I'll settle this. On my life. It will be done. Forget the cargo! Get us to the city! Mom! Gondor, take us with you. Senna, you sure? She's Mobius, right? Then we've gotta go with you. This is Shania. You up to it? A friend of ours became Mobius, too. But still, we came to terms with that. Never knew. Real tough cookies, ain't ya? Speak for yourself, as hard as nails. You can still back out. Last chance. No, it's fine. I'll do this. All right, then. Move it! Get your asses on board and let's hustle!
Shania, eh? No, she had a rough time of it. That kid, she was always trying to please her mum. No, trying to live up to her mum's expectations. Thing is, sometimes life deals you a shitty hand. We were all desperate, should have seen the crap I went through. This ain't a sympathy vote though. You're so strong, more than me. That doesn't even factor. It's your attitude that matters. I hate to break it to you, but that's being strong. I was born with the gift, and I'm using it as all. And if you hadn't been born with it? You see the problem now? Anything? Sorry, Mom. Nothing for the past half hour. <sighs> so we were overwhelmed. Don't you think it's strange, though? Hmm? We've already covered so much ground, but it's been dead silent. That's a point. If they've already overthrown the city, why haven't we met any resistance? No. Huh? This is what she wants. She's biding her time, waiting. Ready to give us a piece of her mind, I'll bet. What's with... No one's moving. Mia, is this...? Hmm. It has to be. Though I've never seen this power before. You think it's... Shania? You know where to go? Over there.
All right, here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is like already, I would say, 30 minutes into the game. This is what I was expecting on my previous episode. So, it came a bit as a shock whenever it was only like 15 seconds. Certain. Looks like she's right. Indeed. Their vitals seem to be fine. I can see them breathing very faintly. Perhaps there's still time. Hurry. It breaks my heart to see the city in this state. Pretty interesting. If we just defeat Mobius, stuff will go back to normal, right? Yeah, I hope so. Where do we need to go? Do we need to fight these people? He's level 50. Am I under? Am I over leveled for this area? Should I need? Should I level down? Let's see. Quest. It's level 50. Okay. I guess we can level down. Is there like a camp? A rest spot? We can go to. Let's go to the rest spot. Now, I mean, seeing that cutscene really gives you a better... did they close? did you close shop? I would like to entrance please? okay whatever it really gives you a new perspective on how how you perceive Gondor right in her actions because when you first saw her you were like she's a jerk for doing that because at the moment her mom wasn't a part of the equation but it was just Gondor so we, we figured out that she looked up at Gondor and Gondor just totally trashed her trashed her um her point of her hero i guess like she was trashed by her hero i i, I think that's a the best way of explaining it like her hero i don't know how to explain like for example if you meet your hero and he refuses to sign your autograph or he, he's actually a jerk i guess it's just like the crushing reality that that's probably what happened like shania's reality was crushed multiple times and and she just broke. Yeah, looks like it. We need to get things back to normal pronto. Hmm. Where are we going? Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have to go down here, okay. Down this way. Hurry. I wonder how this is gonna go. This is interesting. I wonder what kind of power she's gonna have. Like, obviously she's able to man man manipulate time, right? Gravity, maybe? Mother! You got to her too. Shania. What do you think, Gondor? Isn't it a work of art? <gasps> Shania! Did you do this? <gasps> Tell me! Being Morbius... It's just incredible. Excuse me? I have control. Just look. I can freeze everything in its place. Humans and objects. Exactly like a painting on a canvas. That's it. That's why you made everyone stop. <laughs> I even have the power to stop the very flow of air itself. <sighs> what do you think might happen if I do that? You dare. <laughs> it's a real sight to behold, eh, Gondor? I could almost paint it right now. What the hell are you doing this for? What are you after? You're asking that now? You know why, Gondor. I want to tear it all down. This city, and you lot too. And then I'll repaint it all in my own hue. A nice red will do. A vivid blood red. Shania. That's right. You just keep on glaring. 
Enjoy cursing your own helplessness. <laughs> can't move. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. can't beat us. We've been through far worse than this. You've got to set these people free. Shania! Just like what you did at the castle. Huh? Oh, you Uruboros really are infuriating little weevils. And yet, you spent how long trying to be one? What happened to your dream? Like hell. I said I want it gone. It all belongs in the garbage. Your life. This world. If you hate it so much, if you really hate this world, why aren't you trying to tear it down yourself? Change it with your own hands. I told you, I'll break every last thing. You can thing. do it differently. There's still a way you can change. And that way, the world will fall away by itself. It'll all change. You've got it easy, Senna. Bet life's been cushy for you. Get off your high horse! You've got it all wrong! All I'm trying to say is... I'm not the same as you! We're nothing alike! And that's why you became Mobius? Afraid it was a waste of effort. You're still nowhere near our equal. What? Couldn't live up to house fandom, could ya? Yeah, we were gifted. House breed couldn't hold a candle to us. So, you admit it then? If that's what you want to think, then bring it. I'll show you what's different once you get a taste of my fist. Or are you going to wimp out? Lose this one, and you won't have anywhere left to call home. Gondor? It's a pretty nice Mobius skin. Kind of dig it. Too bad I can't do auto fight. Can I? It's a bit blurry. Maybe I can go over to you. I'll play as you. I'll just go for the boss. I think that's all I want to do. Actually, just go for the boss. Like if you take a look at it and you think about it, it actually hurts. If you think about it, um, what did I want to say? Do I want to play her or do I want to play as... As Tyon? I think I'm fine as this. I'll be fine. What I wanted to say was... For... Gondor's side of things, like you, you would probably think that... She's being a dick, right? But if you look at it... Sometimes truth hurts, right? So whenever you have a real friend, they try to guide you in in the right path that may not seem like they are doing that. And I think that's what Gondor is doing, right? Because you can show that she's trying to help her and she, she cares for her. So it, it's a bit sad seeing that she has to be the one that, to push Janat. Is it Sanaya? Janaya? whatever her name is, into that corner, right? It's like an instance where you have a, a your best friend's with a guy and he starts dating a girl. Can I, can I auto my chain attack? And then as a best friend you try to, no I can't. As a best friend you try to like, if you see that relationship's toxic, right? And then you explain that to your friend like, hey, I don't think this is good or healthy for you. You should probably try to leave or go do something else you are like insulting his girlfriend so he has two choice whether to like you know defend <laughs> defend his defend his girl like every man should or some principles accept that or accept his counsel and you know believe what his, his friends have to say like sometimes the truth isn't the best thing to say because most people won't believe it or it's they can interpret it 
however they want, or they can be persuaded to see the the negativity of the council of counseling. Like for for example, if they say, "Hey, she's toxic. You don't want, you don't want to mess with her," and then their rebuke is, "Oh, he's just jealous. He doesn't have your best interest in mind. You shouldn't listen to him." And if you do, then he's just trying to manipulate and control you. He doesn't want you to be happy. You see, like that, right? But then the the whole entire premise for even bringing up that conversation was to help him. And it can be either way, you know. It can it can also be accurate to the point where he's actually just trying to bring you down. So it's really hard to to know what's right or wrong, and and that's why life is difficult, I, I believe. So you're, you're always bound to make mistakes and sometimes people just choose to go down different paths after like losing a couple times and they just give up. I think that's Shania, her definition. Gondor, I did it. I really became Mobius. Thought I told you. Your calling it isn't this stuff. Oh, didn't know you could paint like that. No, this isn't... Come on, show me some more. Ooh. Hey, this is your dad, right? Ha, and this one's my stinky old man, eh? It looks just like him. You're bloody good. But why them? Because I want to be like them someday. Protecting the city. Everyone looking up to me. That your dream? Not sure you need to be worrying about something like that. Huh? They're just a bunch of old fogies. Just be true to yourself. Bet none of those bars could make art like this. This should be your calling. Same as with Yorin. <sighs> You're saying that now. No one, not even once, has ever expected that from me. <gasps> you sure about that? Because I know someone. You were wanted. Is that Titania's gun, Shania? Yeah. She's not around anymore. I have to do what I can. Shania, put it down. Huh? Put the gun down. Uh, okay. Wouldn't you prefer something a little more like this? Daddy just 
wants to see his daughter enjoying doing the things she loves the most. Papa. Go on. Why not ditch it? Not that's an option. Much as I whine about it, it makes me feel connected wherever I am. It's special because it's the name she gave me. Kind of the same as your talent. Sounds nice. I like it. We'll make that world ourselves. We'll make it real. Oh, do stop. You're wasting your time with that. Huh? How much longer will you drag our family's name through the mud? So she met her end as our Mobius. Please. What a pathetic child. Say that again! <sighs> Monica. W what no? <sighs> I thought maybe parents would be closer to their kids somehow. Like that warmth we felt would go on throughout their lives. I thought that might have been the answer we were looking for. It's an illusion. It's a fact of life that the child is born of the parent. But that's all it is. So everything that we're trying to achieve, is that an illusion too? It's all... just a big lie? Senna. Whether it ends in a lie or not is up to you. We all have to crawl face down in the mud, believing we'll come out smiling. Mother. Table set, by the way. Huh? Let's fill up that tongue. Shania was able to smile. Next time round, she'll be fine.
And there we go. Hero quest complete. Side story Senate. Does that mean we get... Is it Gondor's and Senna's extension, like we did in the previous episode? The city was attacked by Shania, now herself a Mobius. The last the party see of her before she vanishes is her smile. Okay. There we go. We got the Ogre class as expected. What? 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 This was in Gondor's? Okay. This is weird. Then why do we need Gondor in the party? What? Okay. <sighs> this is so stupid. I know how like some hero quests has like crossovers where you have to use other heroes or complete other hero quests, but that's just re this is ridiculous. This is more fit for Gondor. Anyways, it was such a good quest. I mean, it was good. It was kind of. It wasn't as good as a few other ones, but I still liked it. You, you see Shania in a new light, and you definitely see, like, you know, what her trials and tribulations were. So, that was good to see. Also, you could see a new side of Gondor, how, you know, her actions were um, perceived one way, but in reality, it, she was trying to help her, guide her in her own path. I didn't know she was a painter, it wasn't revealed until the very end, but we saw subtle hints, like when she was tearing up the painting and stuff like that. And, and we also commented, or at least I commented, it's like, hey, that's a very nice painting, don't don't rip it up. So it turns out like she her talent lies was in the artistic side, not in the in the military combat side. But as you see here, that was not a, a skill or talent that was uh, perceived as good or useful in, in a war forsaken world. And that was entirely the premise of the game where, you know, the the people who excel in other things besides war have a place to to thrive and, you know, showcase their talent. In which case, they couldn't really do it here. So they were forced to pursue a goal, a, you know, war-oriented goal of being, like, the strongest fighter or having some, some place in, in, in terms of, like, combat capability so they can at least, you know, keep their honor and stuff like that it's just like it's at the point where people are forced to do a certain actions like no one's really forced to do anything but it's the choice that people make like for example that juggler right he 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 wanted to go against the grain and pursue his artistic talents where even though he knows that that's not favored that like the country doesn't favor that but he understands like the value of having it he he even said so himself like hey this is everybody who's stuck here needs to be entertained right they need to forget the the pains of war and be able to smile so i can definitely see that but it being able to make someone smile doesn't win wars so you can also see that side of the coin right it, it's a good story it's a good it's a good point like there was multiple multiple uh, attributes that made this story quest good it's just annoying that this is not gondor's quest <laughs> so it is what it is anyways that is going to be it for this episode folks in the next episode we are going to try to do another ascension quest hopefully we can get it right this time i still don't have a full understanding of it to this point but it was still good well be sure to let me know what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see as well and be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 content i do post daily and I'll see you all in the next one.